Hi, I'm Bill Bailey. And I'm Ryan Holger with Temperature Equipment Corporation. Uh, we're here talking with the folks from Nycor Gas today about some things you can do to save energy on your boiler system at your home or at your building. I'm our Director of Training and Bill's our Hydronics Manager. First thing would be if the boiler's actually leaking. If you got water under a cast iron boiler, that means you got a leak in this section probably. But it cannot be repaired, so it's time for it to go. Second thing would be to look at the age of the boiler. If the boiler's 20 to 30 years old, it's probably only 60 to 70% efficient. The third thing you want to look at is if you're looking at a high repair bill. There are a lot of mechanical and electrical controls on every boiler. If you're starting looking at a high repair bill, it might be time to look at a new high efficiency piece of equipment. The most efficient and best system you really want to look at would be a high efficiency boiler which modulates and also has a little device called an outdoor sensor. On a 40 degree day, your system might only need 140 degree water. So why raise it to 180 degrees? Less cost in gas, thereby saving you a lot of dollars on your fuel bill. So let's say we're taking a 70% boiler and we're making it 95% efficient with the new boiler. So we're gonna save 25% of our energy. So the first thing I gotta do is figure out how much money am I actually spending to heat my house or my building today. So the best way to do that is to look at your NICOR bills from October through April, which is seven months. Let's add them all together. And let's say for this particular building, it was $2,500 of total gas bills. Well, not all of that gas is being used for the boiler to heat the building. Some of that's being used for stoves or water heaters or dryers or whatever. So I gotta figure out how much that is and take it back out of there. And to do that, look at one of your summer bills, perhaps July, and let's say that our July bill is $50. Well, it's $50 that I'm spending all year long, even if I'm not using it for heat. So I need to take those $50 times the seven months from October to April, and that's $350. $2,500 minus $350, is $2,150 that I'm actually using in the months of October to April to heat this particular building. When I put the new 95% boiler in, I'm gonna save about 25% of that $2,150. So that's a savings of approximately $500. Well then on top of that, we're still gonna get that additional 10 to 15% savings for that outside air reset that Bill just described. So that's about another $200. So all in all, we're gonna save about $700 by upgrading this particular boiler from a 70% old boiler to a 95% new boiler. What you want that contractor to really do is come in and look at the radiation that you have in the house, your baseboards, your cast iron radiators, and add up the total amount of heat that each one of these devices can put out. That's the maximum load. Add those together and then pick the boiler size. This will save you on initial install costs and maximize your fuel dollar. And not only can you save 25 to 40 percent on your gas bill this winter and every winter after that, you also have rebates available to help you do that from Nycor Gas. Visit NycorGasRebates.com.